Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Odyssey. My name is Rabbit Luigi. In the last episode, we came to the Moon Kingdom, Honeyloon Ridge. It is a very lovely place. It's not very large, which means that even with post-game moons, there's only 38. We haven't even got half of them, so I'm not sure why I'm saying that in some kind of confidence. Like, oh, there's only like 20 more we have to do. That's most of them, but um... It's less daunting than, say, the Sand Kingdom, where there's nearly a hundred of them. Indeed, the Mushroom Kingdom, where there's basically a hundred of them. And we we did the trace walking, the trace walking moon over here. Kind of hard, kind of stupid and annoying, but we did it. And now I've got to snag one of these birds. Look away from me. It's apparently a bird. Like, I could do... I'm pretty sure it's not a bird. It's in, fla it's in fact one of the, uh, the, the robots... One of the robots from the the wooded kingdom carrying the flowers, which is a little strange. Look elsewhere. I am not a threat. Did I learn anything from trying to catch a bird in the in the bait in Bowser's? I'm not here. I'm not here. You got look. Look somewhere else. I'm not a threat. Except ah, oh, it's a, it's kind of a bird. It's kind of annoying. I'll get that later. I feel. I'll go do the. I'll go to the. Like, I, I've definitely done this in my own time because I remember doing it. It was kind of annoying, but I'm gonna go do the uh, the roving races and just have a terrible time trying to trying to keep up with people You know moon jumping moon jumping throughout the stratosphere or something. That's not how that works They are diff different layers of the Earth's atmosphere. M mainly the moon is not part of the It's not part of the Earth's atmosphere, but it's part of the Earth's gravitational pull or I'm saying words which might be accurate. That blue one, see ya. Don't know what he's doing. Trying to do triple jumps. See ya later, guys. Um, they might be faster eventually. Like, the triple jump might be better, but long jumps, generally speaking, are better. Uh, that's what I would... My general confidence on that one, but I can see a shadow. I don't care about the shadows. All I care about is getting one of these rocket flowers and then just going a bit faster, because I feel like I go slowly. I prefer... I just heard someone smack their face against something, which... Fills me with great satisfaction. Get some verticality going, yeah, baby. Is there much of a skip here? Maybe some more flowers? But I don't really want to be out of control, really. Uh, there's a, a large amount of control with this, and I feel like we're doing something like that. I don't know. Just go somewhere. All the movement is so much slower than it is. it was before. Long jump- not long jumping, but wall jumping. Go really high. I have now seen the skip you can do to skip the cave area for a speedrun of this game. And it looks so easy, but it apparently isn't, because a, a section of the wall, you can sort of wall jump off the off the Sphinx's head and go up that way. But you can only wall jump off a very specific part of that wall, because Nintendo deliberately made it, or tried to deliberately make it, so that you couldn't do that. But there's like one tiny section where you can get some traction to do a wall jump, so I don't know what, how I got to that part of the... Uh, Conversation is not that interesting because I can't show it off. I'm not that good, but I could if I tried like really hard and focused on it for the rest of the episode. I'd much rather get moons because they are a more accurate barometer of success in this video game. Should I try rolling? I've not tried rolling. Let's try rolling. Yeah, baby. Going faster than the Golden Cooper. See you fucking later. Because jumping is kind of floaty. This is kind of just a faster bit of horizontal movement, I feel. Ah, uh, I can make this work. Oh, don't do that! Don't do that! It's bad. He did it as well, which means he's fucking terrible as well, but, you know, do what I say, don't do what I do, because doing what I do, bad idea. Uh, especially that guy. <laughs> just, I get so much satisfaction in watching him just fucking ruin it. It's so good. Uh, I can do one of the, uh, that's quite, it's quite slow, actually, but let's get a, a, a rocket flower. Need some speed. No, I need some speed, baby! This Golden Cooper's really slow, but there he is right there. Oh, I destroyed that thing, apparently. That's cool. Uh, I'm up here now. That's also cool. I'm not sure if there's a fast way of getting up here, but I'm not really here to find out. I'm here to just do the thing. I don't know, what's he gonna do? Like, he's just doing the same thing as me, which is fine, because I'm much faster at it. Much faster. Actually slower than the first time. So that first time was pretty good. Um, I may have... He just- he's just on the ground? Is that what happens to, happens to all of them? Like, yeah! Oh, I failed. Oh, that's- that's quite sad. I feel like I'm the antagonist in this story, which isn't really true. Uh, I kind of stopped a wedding, which you- you would think would make me the bad guy, but apparently not. That's good. Okay, we've done that, which I guess kind of rules out- having done the trace walking as well- rules out any- any precision that I might need to enact on this game from here on out, which is kind of interesting. I don't know if there's any, uh, moons or things I can interact with in the wedding hall. 
Because I don't think Bowser will immediately- I don't think we'll immediately trigger that cutscene if we go in. I think we gotta do some- no. Look away. Look away. Got someone to kill. Ah, oh, he's doing this again! Definitely got the idea that the bird was mo was looking away when I did it successfully in the Bowser's Kingdom. Um, but I still gotta- <laughs> I still gotta, like, do it again! I'm gonna sh- you know, it's the same deal, basically. Can I climb up on this stuff? I can wall jump off everything, which is nice. Kind of makes my life a bit easier having to not go around or anything. Yeah, we're on the roof, baby! What else is up on the roof? Other than lots of moons, I imagine. There you go. Lots of little mini things. Little mini- mini series of moons! Little pilot moons! I don't know. Saying words which don't actually equate to what we're doing, but you know, I kind of like doing it, so... I'm gonna keep doing it. Peach is up here! Why is Peach up here? That's such a weird place for Peach to be. Also, I realize that I've never actually done... This- I've never done the post-game where you go to talk to Peach in every kingdom and she goes back to the Mushroom Kingdom eventually. How beautiful, our entire world right there in front of us. Yes, indeed. I wonder where Bo uh, Bon- Bonneton is. I keep thinking it's Bonneton. It's really annoying me. Uh, it must look so small from here. Uh, oh, and this power moon came flying in from outer space. Would you like it? Yes. You should understand this by now. That's why- that's the only reason why I'm talking to you. I don't, you know. I also have to wear an astronaut helmet, but you don't. You have to wear like a cute beret or something, so that's nice. Uh, I've been away for quite a while. I should head back before anyone starts to worry. So that's kind of the mini side quest thing done or something. Can I just... Ding dong. Okay, lovely. I have done the moon underneath the bell because I was able to answer that question. I need a fucking frog now. That's fine. Uh... I need... there's a moon, there's a moon there. I'm looking elsewhere now. Uh... Because I thought... I, I should have maybe got some last episode when they were immediately in my cone of vision. And think, hey, might as well do that while we're here. But I thought, no, it'd be too confusing if I suddenly turn up in this episode having got some of the moons. It's lack of continuity in an episode, you know. Who works in continuity on the set of Rabbit Luigi? Me, apparently. I don't know. People even care about continuity anymore. They like lack of continuity. It makes for good dis discussion points in movies. You get the uh, the annoyingly repetitive videos on YouTube when they say like uh, thirteen things, like a really oddly annoying number like that. Like you know, got a tens or fives, guys. That's what I do. Um, apparently, what I do is is holy writ, maybe. But uh, you know, like top thirteen. Continuity errors or mistakes in movies that you didn't see. You personally didn't see. What what, what I see recently, like uh, you know, top five games you you forgot about or something like that, and they had games which I I know I've played recently in like the last year or so. It's like, hang on, what's the point of this video? Because <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Okay, stop ragging on other YouTube people. It's hard work. Got to be sympathetic to the struggle of YouTubers in in 2018, because goddamn, it's getting difficult. It's getting it's getting tricky to stay on your top of YouTube's bullshit and trying to cope with uh, the ongoing pressure, the increasing pressure to make f hilarious content. Well, that's a problem for me. Uh, okay, we're here again. Do you remember when we did this the last two times? What did we learn for this time? Not a lot. Oh, it was. I I thought. I thought. I prayed. I. Oh, I did the right things, I feel, but maybe not. Let's go over to the shop, or I guess the Odyssey. Because there's a pipe over there. And I think another thing, I, I I don't know if the... There was a treble clef, a rainbow treble clef, in the 8-bit section. I don't know if we've done that already. Here's the problem of doing various bits of this kingdom. Not out of order, but almost out of order. Talk or two is up there. Might as well go talk to that man, or that bird. Probably that bird. Um, he's not quite as good as the bird in Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I feel like they should uh, get together and discuss how a lack of anthropomorphized birds has caused the video game industry to fail recently. I don't know, I'm talking out of my ass, like usual. Um, Moon Kingdom art isn't very helpful. Edge of the galaxy implies like off the edge or something obnoxious like that. And mysterious flying object. I tried to see an object. Maybe that's the the UFO thing we were trying to catch. I saw the shimmer of that, and I thought, hey, there's a thing I, I might be interested in, but maybe not. I don't know if any of the NPCs looking out over the edge have anything interesting to say or do or anything. I have done this moon in my own time. I remember it. It's actually kind of interesting. Like... This is kind of something which I don't think we saw any of. I don't think there were many 8-bit sections in... I mean, there were kind of a few 8-bit sections in... Ah, uh, yeah, let's not do that. 
in Super Mario Galaxy, but like, you know, variable gravity in a place, in a, in a setting which has never seen that kind of thing before, i.e. 8-bit stuff, is interesting and it creates for entirely new scenarios where this kind of stuff can be explored. I we want to go over to there, so actually been over. Yep, I'm pretend I meant to do that. Yep, there's one on your bingo card. Yeah, okay. Wonderful work, everybody. There's some lava over there. Let's not talk about the lava for a second. I just want the coins, I think. And also the moons, which are there are two here. I keep squatting down because I keep forgetting which which kind of configuration. The gravity is sending me in. I don't know. I'm confused by gravity. You know, like every other day. Let's go go towards the center of this weird configuration. I know where the other moon is. This is the second moon. Which is not difficult to get to, but maybe... There we go. Lovely. Center of the galaxy. Edge of the galaxy is in fact not quite the the grandiose moon that I thought it would be. Like, hey, maybe we've got to look at some ridiculous spectacle or something. That'd be cool. In fact, what we have to do, probably running up, run run and jump, baby. Ah, I... we could have done that. Oh, we could have made that one as well. Okay. Just this way, basically. I forget if there's like a, like some lava or just falling off entirely. There you go. Wonderful. Edge of the galaxy. Found it, did it. Everybody's feeling good about themselves, especially me. Let me get off this crazy ride. Uh, I don't know about any others. I don't remember seeing Hintart in this kingdom. Do I remember seeing Hintart? Maybe in the in the, the cave section, the lava section, which I'm sure we're going to have to go to at some point in this episode. I'm at peace with that. I understand the need to go to a place where there's insta-kill, not quite insta-kill, but for all intents and purposes, insta-kill lava, kind of nearly everywhere. So that'll be fun. Where's the K- where's the- where's the hint art in this kingdom? Under the Bowser statue. Hmm. Maybe going inside the wedding hall, I don't know. Kingdom art again, okay. Let's stop talking to talk or two. He's just- he's talking over himself. He's doing the same thing. We did that last- or the two episodes ago or something. Let's not worry about that. We have 14 moons to get. We're not getting them all this episode, but I'd like to get a lot. Have we got? Oh, I'm burping. Burping stuff. Burping fish. Hmm. That's another one for you. For your bingo card. Uh, mysterious flying object is indeed... Oh, is indeed... Itchy nose. Is indeed that one. Which is good. Uh, I'm gonna buy a moon. Because I don't think I've done that. We haven't got any purple coins. I imagine all of the purple coins... Or at the very least, most of the purple coins... Are in fact inside the cave area. Which is understandable. I can understand that. Oh, I've got an itchy nose. It's not even itchy nose. Like... There's some hair around, I don't know, that sounds weird to say it like that, but, you know, my sister is reasonably allergic to cats, even though we have, like, five of them, uh, but even so, I'm not that allergic to any kind of animal stuff. I, I'm semi-allergic to, to hay, but only because it gets in my lungs. Do I want any of these? Because it kind of, uh, I don't think it's hay fever, because I'm okay with pollination in general, but, like, when I breathe in, like, the... Oh, hang on, there's a, there's a dog on this. <laughs> I didn't even process that the dog might lead me to something helpful. But the, um... When I, when I handle hay and have to lug hay bales around, uh, like the, the, the fine particles, the crap, which isn't actually hay, that's what kind of gets in my lungs and causes me wheeziness and problems. So, you know, don't do that very often. Or just wear, like, a surgical mask. And pretend that, you know, everybody smells or something, or you're trying to protect yourself from disease or something. I also completely understand how the dog works now. Someone- somebody told me. It's all, always good when people tell me how fucking awful, or how, like, the really worst thing I do about everything. Because, you know, I'm not even trying to say that in a facetious way. I need that. I need people to tell me that I'm doing things wrong. Because otherwise I make the same mistakes. Is this the same crater as before? Don't think it is. We went to that far one, didn't we? Might be this one. Oh, okay, maybe not. That's okay. I've got more, more patience for the for the dog this time. Are they likely to be in these craters? Maybe. Sort of lead. You have to lead the dog. The dog will not lead you. Where are you going? You going this way? Well, <laughs> what are we doing, my dog friend? In the most adorable astronaut helmet, like dog fashion? No idea. But dog fashion? It's interesting. It's interesting to me. Like. It's not actually. I feel like it's kind of stupid, but, you know, it's interesting to- It's adorable when it's not my dog. I would feel a certain amount of shame if it, if it was if it was my dog, but it's only because I'm a traditionalist. Don't let my views sway you in any way. I don't- Ah, let's not go into that debate. Uh, 
I, I would think crate, craters rather, but I'm beginning to think that maybe not. I'm gonna go even further away. Can you come up here, my dog friend? You can. How wonderful. Going for a lovely dog walk to the furthest, farthest corners of the moon kingdom. Because I'd like to find the moon. I don't think any of these guys have anything interesting to say other than maybe you. No? That's good. I thought maybe he might have a friend who's hanging out on somebody's face or, you know, behind somebody's head or something. I don't know. I don't know how they work. I've done this already, but... Maybe there's a moon in here. Maybe there's not a moon in here. Okay. Where else would the dog like to go? I mean, we're just humoring at, humor him at the moment, but... He's, the, the, the graceful way he jumps. Can I get him to jump again? I'd like to watch him jump again. Oh, it's, it's so graceful. It's so, it's so graceful. Oh, God, look at, he's so pleased. Oh, <laughs> that's mine. That's mine. Okay. That's my wallpaper for the next, like, month. It's so beautiful. Are you going to come down here? Oh, God. It's, it's incredible. It's actually incredible. Maybe here. I feel vibrations. Are there natural vibrations? Do I even need you? I definitely feel vibrations. Maybe the dog can just do the work for me. Instead of having to try to work out where the moon is. I'll be amazed if this is where it is. I feel feeling good about it. Feeling not so good about it. Okay. Keep going, dog. We're looking in craters, apparently. Don't look at that one. Although I do want to see if it actually interacts with you in any way. P could you please just get annihilated by this for a second? Just to... I mean, we've had the moment of watching the dog gracefully jump through the air. Or, can you get hurt by this in any way? No, you just phase through it! Why do I not have that power? It feels like it'll be useful. The dog just is stealing the show. I don't even need to be here. Oh, I can't go that far. I don't even need to be here. Because the dog is just doing work that I can't possibly match, really. These, these, are, these are craters. Dog, please. I could just start ground pounding in the middle of craters. Don't want to talk to that. Don't want to talk to that guy again. That man is crazy. Just, oh, it's so, it's so beautiful. I have a thumb now, which is wonderful. Uh, anybody, anything else around here? Am I going to have to look up a general location for this? Because I can't see one at the moment. In the meantime, we can do a, do one of these challenges. Ah, uh, yeah, just long jumps, I think. Big old long jumps. Big old long jumps. Yeah. This is not very difficult because this is the, the longest jump I can do. It's very hard to screw that one up. Other than maybe falling off the edge as the as the timer runs out, but you know we're doing well, doing well. The dog has disappeared, has jumped down and oh, it's just there. Oh, is he? I thought it was I thought it was asleep. I was gonna say that's adorable. Um, have you found anything? You have in the farthest corner, which is now the moon. Okay, you see what happens when you have a bit more patient with your pets. You know, it's all you need, just a, an understanding of what they're trying to do, trying to train dogs or something, and you know. Got to accept that maybe they have their own agendas, they have their own mantras, they have their own way of life or something. I'm getting very philosophical about the the role of, you know, escorting a dog around a, a, a kingdom or something. Can I just humor me? Oh, oh, <laughs> I just wanted to see. Can I survive this? I don't think I can. Okay, but I just wanted to see if we could, because they, they were definitely jutting out from the the main body, main rock face there, so. At least we know, at least we're back here. You wanna find more moons for me? I don't think you can do that. You can find me some more coins. I don't really need, I do need the coins, but I'm not gonna get the coins from, you know, going around with a dog, and saying hi to all the people, and you know, looking at all the Martians, all the, all the spacemen on the moon. There are many of them. I'm not gonna do that. I love, I like, I really like 8-bit moon music. That sounds weird when you put it that way, but the moon, this moon, in 8-bit, sounds genuinely amazing. Why am to this out here? Okay. I don't think I've done this, but I'm willing to investigate. Because I am a scientist who can't get moon, get notes. Oh, okay, this is very slow now. Um, not the fastest I would have liked it to be. Uh, that's fine. We'll just go straight back there. Ah, oh, can't make that jump. Oh, dear. So I guess more than anything, I should think about this in terms of timing. So if I do it now, then I should be able to drop down just as this disappears. And as long as I get all of them, I can immediately hop back out again. I can hear the dog upstairs, upstairs uh, above this area, just finding something, making a, a little yelpy sound saying, I'm trying to help and you're just not even here. It's like, I'm sorry. I've gone to, gone to do other things in low gravity. That was not... Massively difficult. 
but kind of, you know, low gravity, 8-bit. It's a combination of ideas that, you know, Nintendo haven't explored so much together, really. So, we've got every post-game moon except for this piece of shit over there. Oh, that's fine. Um, it's really not, but I'm gonna pretend it's fine. Just to protect the innocents. Who- what is number three? What is number three? Under the Bowser statue. There's no Bowser statues out here, but I'd like to at least- I mean, here's the thing. If there's loads of moons in the cave area with the lava and the rock music and the- And the goddamn kids listen to their rock music and uh, the Dungeons and Dragons- I don't know. But, um... <laughs> if there's a whole load of moons in there, we'll be able to find them by the hint toad pointing them out. And they'll all be in roughly the same place. But I'm just starting to think by- by doing this a bunch, might not be the case. I'll get three, and then I'll maybe find those three. And, oh, that might be something of interest. I'll come back to that one. That might be inside the wedding chapel, you see. So, um, <laughs> I'm curious to see how that works. Was there a, um, I didn't even notice the first time in the cutscene, but was there, oh, it's Captain Toad. Was there a, a vicar or a minister overlooking the ceremony? Because I don't think there was. You beat Bowser! I mean, you always do, but still, good job. Uh, oh, and I haven't been slacking off, either. I found a power moon for you. Yeah, good job, Captain Toad. You're actually incredibly useful. Like, genuinely, standout guy. You never- you never stop for a moment, and I feel like you probably should. I know 32% more blue than green. Probably a bit more than 32% is, in fact, most of it. Like, I forget the ratio. It might be 70-30. Actually, that does sound- it sounds like 40% more green than- Blue than- blue than green. Okay, lovely. Any moons over here anymore? No. Let's go hang out by the wedding hall. Did I just break my headphones? I did not. Okay. I'm paranoid, because I haven't got a replacement pair of headphones. If I break them, that's a problem. I recently, uh, got a replacement mouse for my- my computer, which was very awkward. It's the- it's the beautiful moment, I'm sure everyone's had it at some point, where you try and navigate your computer by just pressing- by using the keyboard, basically, having no mouse to actually, you know, I didn't have a, uh, a, a backup I could use for that time, so instead I was trying to do things and move files on my computer to my hard drive or something like that, just by using tab a lot, and that was kind of- it was an interesting experience, I wouldn't like to do it all the time, you know, just kind of m lets you understand what the things you can do of your computer are, I don't know. Tab is a wonderful key. Just gonna put that there and pretend that that's what I want to do, indeed, okay. Oh god, I don't know why I got an itchy nose. Haven't been sneezing. Haven't been doing anything like that. Tip of the white spire. Then he said spear. It meant it was spire. Okay, so that blue X either means three things. It could mean one of three things. There's either a moon at the very tippy top of this, uh... Hi, hi, Peach. Very tippy top of the of the spire of this, uh, this tower, I suppose, which is entirely possible. I might need a, uh, uh, a frog to find- Ow! I might need a frog to find it! Uh, there could be one inside the chapel. Or there could be one in the rafters inside the chapel, which I feel like we've done, so I'm feeling it- that is the least likely, I feel, but I'd at least like to investigate using my- my incredible high jumping frog! Like, goddamn! Man, the little frog man has got incredible legs for someone so small. Like how much of your how much of your the height of your body are you, are you leaping up? I there is something up there. Might be a moon. Uh, there's a trail of star bits, which are actually purple coins. Cause I don't know what game we're playing. What game are we playing? Confusing. They don't make the sound. I don't think of of star bits from Super Mario Galaxy. Anything up here? Oh damn! That's pretty high up. Um, so that's ruled out one of my options. Let's have a look at the other option. Cause I I'm pretty sure I got this moon, didn't I? I- I can't- I don't know, I can't do precision jumping with a- with a, a frogman. Also, I'm curious to see if Peach is able to talk to me while I'm a frogman. In fact, we've done this as well. Okay. This is how we replay the- the boss fights, indeed. Should there- should be a painting here, right? Indeed! I think that's got something to do with- oh, here's the hint art, by the way. I think that's got something to do with beating the game 100%. Lovely! Fucking Poochie ruining things for me. Okay, so... Do I need to do this again? I don't think I do. You gonna mention anything about that? I've seen this portrait before. Uh, that might- okay, we'll come back to that. Are we just inside the chapel? We might be. Uh, in fact, we're just, you know, just tidying up- oh, it's adorable. I have not been in here before. It's actually adorable. Hello? 
What are you doing, my friend? Well, uh, what with cake and stew? I have overeaten my, and my stomach hurts. Is there a doctor nearby? Oh, that's interesting. You are not what I'm looking for, Mr. Moustache. Uh, you do not like a doctor at all. I love him. Um, he's got stomachache. It's fucking adorable. It's so adorable. I can't, can't even deal. Okay, that's a lot of coins. Uh, is there anything in this chapel? Not really. I would think that maybe, yeah, I'm thinking that the, the, the blue X is, I need to be a doctor, basically. A little confusing. I don't think we get anything for doing this fight again. Might try and investigate that off screen to see if that's the case, but I'm gonna go be a doctor. I actually haven't even bought it yet, so I have to actually pay for my qualifications, which is fair enough. Is this gonna be a problem without the astronaut uniform? Because I can't breathe out here. I'll probably die if this is a different video game. I feel like they, they'd go a bit harder with that, but this game... Knows what it's doing. Never fear, Dr. Mario is here for some apparent reason. Indeed, I'm here to fix you. You appear to be the doctor from head to toe. I have been waiting for you. Uh, thank you. I feel better now. Please take this in payment. I didn't do anything. I gave you like a placebo of my presence. A, 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 my presence was the placebo. I don't know. I did nothing and apparently you're doing really well. I'm on your table. That isn't even what the moon is. Okay. What number is it? Is that going to help me? Fa oh, it's the hint. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Okay. That's fine. We're not missing that many. Under the Bowser statue, I think most of those are actually in the cave. So, this has been Rabbit Luigi. This has been Let's Play Super Mario Odyssey. In the next episode, we're going to go to the cave area in this kingdom, which is full of lava and not full of variable gravity, which could be a blessing. Because uh, I, I, I don't have a complaint about the variable gravity, but I like it to change sometimes uh, and see what's going on in there. That's probably where the rest of the purple coins are, almost definitely. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.